So part D of the question, the angle between plane PTS and the plane PJKS. The angle between the plane PTS and the plane PJKS. So let's go to the diagram and identify the plane you're supposed to get. So we are required to get the angle between plane PTS and plane PJKS. So plane PTS is there. So I need to draw that other plane PJKS and to do that I'm going to draw join J then from J to B so to B like that then from S I'll join that. So you can see the two planes PTS and PJKS. Now I need to get the angle between. The angle between will be given by now you have to draw a line from point T to the center of that plane. Then from that point up to the center of the other plane there. Like that. So the required angle between the two planes would be this angle that is here. That would be the required angle. I can as well join, let me join these. can draw another line to the midpoint of that and I can draw another one still this one these are these lines are going to help in calculating that angle now there is also the perpendicular height that will also be very important in this question the perpendicular height so the perpendicular height we calculated this and we can call that point O the center of that plane this point here we can name this on M. This is the point. We can name this on as A. And this one we can name this point here as B. Now how do we get that angle? Uh, the angle between those two planes. Let me extract uh, this is a triangle that I want to extract here. This is a triangle I want to extract here. And this is triangle T M B. Let me show it. So triangle T M B. B is the midpoint of JK. So the required angle is this angle that is here. This is the angle that you want to get. Now we need to get these measurements. TM. We can start with TM. So look at where TM is. To get TM, this uh, triangle here that you're going to extract. The triangle here that you need to extract. And this is uh, point M. This one is S. This one is P. This one is T. So this is 90 degrees. And remember this is 13. And this one is 13. Then PM is the midpoint of PS, so this one is 3, this one is 3, uh, since PS is 6. And to get PTM, TM using Pythagoras theorem, it will be 13 squared minus 3 squared. And this will be 169 subtract 9 will be the square root of 60. The square root of 60 will be 12.65. So these so it is 12.65. After getting that, uh, what about TB? We need to get TB. Now there is another triangle here that we need to extract in order to get TB. And the triangle is, let me extract this. This is a triangle TQR. Triangle TQR. So T, Q, R, whereby we have a line that runs through the center there. And we also have another one here. So this is a point J, B is here, and K is here. Uh, don't forget that QT is 13, so this one will be 6.5, and this one will be 6.5. This one will be 6.5, this one is 6.5. This one is 90. 
uh, this one will be 3 this one will be 3 now you notice that t this i can call this point is t a t a is equivalent to tm and you've got tm is uh, 12.65 so in order to get uh, TB, we shall use uh, similarity. And when you look at this, we have triangle TQR. Triangle TQR is similar. Is similar to triangle JKT. So if those triangles are similar, so we can use similarity in order to get TB. And this is what we are going to do. Using similarity, uh, we shall get the length of uh, like this TQ, TQ, that is the length of the bigger triangle, divided by TJ, should be equal to uh, the bigger height, which is TA, over the smaller height, which is uh, TB. So this will give us TB. So TQ is um, 13, then TJ. TJ is 6.5 is equals to TA. TA, we already got TA. TA was equivalent to 12.65 divided by TB. So here we shall get TB by cross multiplying. Uh, this will be 6.5 multiplied by 12.65. Everything divided by 13. So TB will be using a calculator to do this using a calculator to do this uh, this one will be 6.5 multiplied by be 6.325 6.325 now that you have that um, 6.325 so this one is 6.325 there is um, an angle that you can get uh, we can it is possible to get this angle it is possible to get this we can call this angle alpha the angle at t that angle we can use uh, triangle if we use triangle t m a t m a we can get this uh, angle that is here the angle at t the angle at T, me extract the triangle that will help me. Triangle TMA, uh, extracting triangle TMA. So TMA, and then we have um, height there. So this is the triangle that I've extracted. TMA, you can see it, TMA, where um, TM and TA are equal, 12.65. 12.65, so these two, this is 12.65, uh, and this one is 12.65. And then uh, MA, MA, is uh, 8 so mo is a uh, 4 4 so this one is 4 4 so it is possible to get the whole of this angle so i just need to get one angle here and uh, double it so using uh, trigonometric ratios i can use um, sine of theta so sine of theta is equals to opposite which is 4 over the hypotenuse 12.65 to be 18.43 this will be 18.43 then you multiply that by 2 because you want the entire of that angle and this will give um, 39.2 we see 18 then multiply this one by 2 36 uh, this will give 36.86 um, 36.86 36.86 degrees so that is the angle at uh, this point. This is the angle 30. It is here 36. You've got that one is uh, 
46.86. Uh, if we use cosine rule, we'll be able to get MB. If we use cosine rule, we get MB. So let me use cosine rule and get MB in this triangle TMB. So, sorry for that. So let me... This question has a lot of workings. So I'll have to draw it again here. So this is uh, T, M, B. I want to extract that triangle here, down here, T, M, B. 12.65. This is 12.65. Uh, this angle is the one we have obtained as 36.87. Uh, this one is 36.87. When you round it to correct to four significant figures, 38 point, we can, we can change just these to four significant figures, we get 0.87. Then 6.325, 6.325, the other side, 6.325. Like that. Now using these two, we can use cosine rule to get MB. So how do we get MB? MB will be given by 12.65 squared plus uh, 6.325 squared minus 2 multiplied by 12.65 times uh, 6.325 cosine of 36 cosine of uh, 36.87 so this is uh, mb squared so mb squared we therefore b we we'll simplify everything here using a um, calculator 12.65 squared plus 6.325 uh, squared that will give um, 200 point zero minus uh, 2 multiply by 12.65 multiply by 6.3 6.3 this will be 160.0 the same as the cosine of 36.87 degrees so working out these we get mb squared is equals to and subtracting these we have 200 and subtract 160 uh, cosine of 36.87 you get 72 this one is giving you exactly 72 so mb therefore will be the square root of uh, 72 the root of 72 be 8.4 8.4 centimeters now after obtaining that this side is uh, 8 8.4 8, 8 5 now we can now use um, to get this angle because remember this is the angle that you are looking that is the angle between the plane pts and pjks so now we can use the sine rule can you sign rule now do you use sign rule you can use it like these are uh, six point 325 divided by sine of theta this is the sine rule is equals to uh, 8.485 divided by the sine of 87 or 87 but um, 36.87 that's 6 
0.87 degrees. So this one will give a sine of theta, making sine theta subject will be 6.325 multiplied by sine of 36.87 degrees, everything divided by 8.4 five like that so the calculator get sine of theta six point six point three two five six point three two five multiply by uh, sine of thirty six point eight seven everything divided by eight point four eight five so this will give 0 0.4473 so sine of theta is equal to that so to get this angle now angle theta we just need to get the sine inverse uh, the sine inverse of um, sine inverse of 0 0.4473 uh, this one will give 26.57 degrees and that is um, the angle between the plane PTS and the plane PJKS so what um, long working that is the method uh, in case you have a shorter method let me know uh, that is the method that I found was easy one I don't know whether it's so long and that is how it's a good one since we have gone through the cosine rule, the sine rule, and all these. So thank you.